Today, I'm going to show you the easiest fudge you'll ever make. All it takes is two ingredients to make this easy, delicious, chocolatey fudge. And it makes a great holiday gift. This is going to be good and super easy. Here we go. Okay, two ingredient holiday chocolate fudge. You'll need one 14 ounce can. That is 396 grams of sweetened condensed milk and 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. I'm going for a dark chocolate and this bag is only 10 ounces. So I had another bag and I added two extra ounces and that's it. You'll also need a microwave safe bowl. Here I have my little spatula and an eight by eight baking dish greased with parchment paper. Okay, chocolate chips going into my bowl. And then all you do is pour over the entire can of that sweetened condensed milk. That's the two ingredients. It's as easy as that. And I make this all the time. I can't even remember where I got this recipe from. I think it was probably well over 10 years ago. I think it was like a potluck, like a holiday work potluck, and someone brought this fudge and they passed out like printed sheets of the recipe and it was literally two ingredients. And you can get really creative and add nuts, marshmallows to make this fudge very festive. Okay, so into the microwave, I'm going to microwave this in 15 to 30 second intervals. It just depends how hot and high your microwave runs. So I'm gonna go for 30 seconds and you just pop it in the microwave and after 30 seconds, you'll want to remove it, give it a stir, put it right back in for another 30 seconds until it's melted. Honestly, in my microwave, it takes less than a minute and a half. Like if I go to a minute and a half, it might be a little too hot. So you got to be careful. That's why I think the original recipe said 30 second intervals. I would suggest doing like 15, 20. I think that's a safer bet because not everyone's microwave heats the same. So as you can see, it's pretty much melted at this point. So I'm just going to give that a mix. There's still some chunks in here. And at this point, you could add, like I said, fold in nuts. That's another uh, good ingredient. Pecans or walnuts goes great with this. Okay, so I'm going to put it in for like another 15 or 20 seconds. And I think it should be done. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully remove it. And you can see there's still chocolate chunks or chocolate chips at the bottom. So I'm just gonna stir everything up and they should melt. But here's another issue you could come across when making this microwave fudge. And even if you do this on the stovetop, you could still have this issue. The chocolate starts to seize and get kind of gritty. And some people don't know what that means. So here's some info on what it means when chocolate seizes. Basically, seized chocolate occurs when the chocolate you are melting comes into contact with moisture. Chocolate itself does not contain moisture, so adding a small amount of liquid can disrupt the melting process. And I think that's kind of what's going on with my chocolate. It happens. So here's some way to recover your chocolate. You can reverse the reaction by adding just enough water or another liquid to dissolve most of the sugar and cocoa particles that are seized in chocolate clumps. So... I just sort of stirred mine and I'm still gonna go for it. So I'm just gonna add it right into my baking dish or baking pan that I lined with parchment paper and I added oil to it to coat it. And you can see this is not the prettiest, meltiest chocolate. That's okay because this recipe is so easy and forgiving. It's still gonna taste great. But I'm just gonna smooth this out as best as I can into this baking pan. An eight by eight baking pan, this is actually I think a seven by seven. And to get creative today, I'm adding a third ingredient of smoked sea salt, it's flaky sea salt. You don't have to do that because keeping it a two ingredient recipe works just as good. It really is a versatile base for a good holiday fudge. Like I said, get creative. You can add sprinkles, nuts, crushed peppermint. It all works. So into the fridge for two hours. In the meantime, I want to show you, this is a great holiday gift. I do this actually every year. That's why this recipe is so easy and I use the microwave. I do this all the time. So 
Today, I'm just gonna show you, I'm actually eating this fudge at home with my family, but I have these little gift box that I bought from, uh, I believe it was a Japanese little store that I have locally, and it is just this little gift box. It's actually a lunch box, and I think it's perfect for this fudge. So there we go. Okay, two hours later, and please don't mind my crazy fridge. I do not have a studio kitchen, so this is a very lived-in fridge where people put things every which way. Okay, so I am going to carefully remove the fudge, and it has solidified and set, and this is what is so easy about this with the parchment paper. You slide it out of the pan, and then you can cut into large pieces. I like to do these little candy bite-sized pieces. It just, you know, it's easy to grab one, it melts in your mouth, it's so good. And so I'm just gonna cut these into these little squares. And that's it. This is such an easy fudge to make, whether you're eating it at home, whether you're taking it to a holiday party, gathering, or the perfect homemade gift. And it's so good. And do it in bite-sized pieces. It just looks so nice. So to show you what it looks like in this little gift box that also came with parchment paper, by the way, and you can even bag these up into little baggies. It's such an easy thing to do. And like I said, it's a great little holiday homemade gift. And here it is, super cute. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.